on Delfino Plaza. Two characters who I do not see normally in Smash Brothers com uh, like competition. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, it's zero, it's suit. zero suit. Oh, yes. Game. And, and as a Delfino Plaza, um, while they're playing on Delfino Plaza, it is interesting to note that Samus is a platforming character. She yes. To get through and get to each of every one of those platformers. A little um, strategy I would say here for Blob is to get rid of those pieces. If he can get rid of those, then that completely gets rid of a, of a lot of damage that Samus can do early on in this match. And also, it's to Zero Suit Samus' interest to get rid of it too, because it looks like Blob is taking the initiative and actually using those pieces against him. That's not easy to do, my friend. It is not. But he's pulling it off. He's like, Ooh, oh, a good, good judgment on it with an eight right that there. Is, there, that was just some good solid damage and freezes yep. Samus momentarily. And so. we get the side over. Blob is doing good combos here early in this match right now. He's doing fairly well. I see him going far. Hopefully. Judge and more. And there's that side smash. The water side almost smash. saved zero suit. Almost, Samus. but it did not. I can tell you that a number of times the water will save you from screw ups. It will not save you from that one. Yeah, it will not save you from stuff like that. <laughs> exactly. You're on, the, you're on the side of the screen. You will automatically be carried. Exactly. Something. Because momentum. People forget physics is a thing in games. Exactly. Nintendo logic. Anyway. <laughs> Is, like right now, we got another kill, and we're even on stockwise. But Zero Suit Sam still has a 34% lead, it's like lead over Mr. Game and Watch. Both are suddenly just kind of avoid each other. To right there, Mr. Game Watch gets another hit. And he's he's pretty good. He's pretty well known for being a pretty heavy character and pretty heavy hitting. Exactly. Um, interesting to note that most of the things that he uses in his games are in his games. all the things that he uses are stuff from his games. I'm sure well, from the Mr. Game and Watch series, yes. Um, before it was a Game Boy cartridge, it was a very first handheld. Console. Yeah, one of the yeah one of the most handheld gaming systems yep. that we had with the Mr. with the Game and Watch series. Yeah, I think at the most the Game and Watch game had five frames per sprite. Um, no, there was Firefight where they had eleven frames. Per sprite. Oh yeah. Um, it's insane to think about when well right now come in gaming and how awesome it is that we get to see all of these characters coming back with the Super Smash Bros. series. Also, an interesting fact right now, even though Mr. Game Watch is supposed to be a 2D character, his sprite is in 3D. He is, in fact, rendered in 3D. Um, and right now, ooh, Mr. Game & Watch is fine, is taking another, he's got very solid lead right now, he's been combo and heavy right now on Zero Suit Samus. Yeah, it is insane to see Mr. Game & Watch doing all of his damage. Um, At a very short amount of time, exactly. He, yeah. And he utilizes what I feel is one of the things a lot of people forget about Delfino Plaza, is that the movement platform, the base platform, is transparent, going up at least. Exactly. It is very nice to know that, as, oh, is there a suit Samus is up, um, was that an up A attack or was that the up I do not know on that one. Um, for, well, I was, not, I was one, barely paying attention, I was looking at right. you. Um, she was, her lance went up and then the Game & Watch shot down. I was like, ooh, that was a very minimal judgment there. Was. It's up, up three. thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, her up B is really useful when the character drops at the side, but when there's a platform below. Ooh, Ooh and the nine, but it missed. And, and there is the game, the game. torch to end the game. And Blob takes the first match that on is. this one. That is pretty, pretty devastating, that fire torch. Exactly, especially when hit with that much damage on you. It's interesting. It's got a high hit ratio and a high um, damage ratio because of the fire torching. Makes sense. The game makes sense. Of course. And of course, we. Oh, they're on the lilac. They are on, li are on the no, lilac cruise. This is it's this like this. It's not a map that we see very often. It is not. No. A lot of people don't like the multiple platforms and how you always have differing angles on the. For I personally am not a big fan of the stage, but apparently these it's like one of these guys is, and well, could, this could be worked to their advantage. Well, we did have. Let's see. Who was the? Um, we got. Cap is the one who chose this, so Zero Suit Samus is going to try to incorporate on those platforms. So okay, earlier, well, he, she is going well Zero Suit Samus is a very platform heavy character, so... Yes. And, as we saw earlier, her up the attack can launch characters to the ground in the lilac system where angles are always differentiating. That might come to play here that, later, later on. I would not be surprised if it does. One thing I'm surprised about is how is how uh, reliant Blob seems to be on some of these judgments. See, oh, yeah. it's a complete. If I'm if I'm correct, if I'm not, please uh, correct me. But it's a completely random. It's like a number between one and nine, and depending on what it, it is, is, depends on the amount of damage and different effects it that it can have. But again, in a tournament like this, it's a completely luck-based attack. It's like so. It's like so relying on it, it is relies a lot on. One of those, um, 
moves you should never actually rely on, but he is getting a pretty consistent number between exactly. six and nine. We've seen Which nine is, twice. It's like that's all. That's not based on the character. That is all luck right there. But we have got to find out: will that luck run out, or will it continue and let him win this match against Cap? Well, it looks like he's not using it as a reliant on this one because he is being thrown around like a rag doll in the dryer. Although he yeah, but he still have a full stock, stock lead. Yes, well, almost a full stock lead. He does. Samus is getting the grab on the wrong side, and it it's looks like that might just put her at a disadvantage. It, well, she is already, she's been at a disadvantage, it seems like, since the beginning of this game, and it's... And it, we did just see her try to get that grab with the up the attack. Uh, maybe they're listening into our conversation. Possibly, but we're talking fairly loud, and they're not more than probably, they're possibly about 10 feet away from us. That's very true. Alright, <laughs> we should probably stop talking that loud. We can give them it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's true. Like, um, and right there, ooh, Mr. Zero Six Times gets a kill on Mr. Game and Watch. Yeah, we that got, brings um, this game back into play. However, Game and Watch is still up to 75%. Exactly. Um, interesting thing and to it's know. getting and it's only getting higher and higher. <laughs> interesting thing to note about Zero Six Samus is that, oh, we heard a nine judgment there. Although ooh. I think he wasn't. I think he was more trying to do recovery then. Yeah, then actually, Jumpy just wasted a nine though. Yeah. Um, interesting to note about Samus. Ooh, and there we go. There's the helmet hit up. A smash to come take one, down Samus. He Game now has a, he now has a, almost a complete one stock lead over and or Samus, and they, it is now one stock lead. Well, the 22 percent damage, and right now Sam, the Samus is starting to get a good combo going. See, we're, we're seeing the very definition of why weight class and characters matters. Exactly. Uh, Mr. Game and Watch, contrary to being a 2D character and 3D rendered. <laughs> um, actually is in the heavy weight class because he's got heavy or heavy hitting moves and really? he moves pretty vocally if you actually look at him. That's very true. Um, he does. He is up there in that weight class with Ganon and Bowser, though, which is a really weird thing. Yeah, exactly. A little character like that, you wouldn't expect it to be a, as hot, as heavy hitting as, say, Bowser or Ganondorf. No. Any, I mean, Ganondorf. No, you would not. However, that does come with a price, and that fact that he is very, very heavy, and when he goes down, he goes up, down. He goes down. His B recovery, his up B recovery, is a player shoot. Yes. Which, for the most part, does get him up. It doesn't get him up a lot. It doesn't get him on the lilac well, laser. The, that up here is more for side hits, not for going down and hit down. Exactly. He has to use it early if he wants to have any effectiveness with it. Exactly. Oh, we see the lance. Uh, oh. Ooh, and there's the key. The key. The key blade. Yeah, the key blade. <laughs> it's like, no, we're not sponsored by Final Fantasy. <laughs> we're not, we're not. Um, and and there's the game. A two-stock lead by Mr. Game & Watch to give Blob the win.